it is. Bobber's gone. Fish on. We're slip floating today, y'all. Minnows and slip floats. Check this guy out. Stud. Slip floating with minnows for crappie. What's happening, jig heads? Welcome back to the channel. Have you ever been slip float fishing for crappie? Be a lot cooler if you did. Stick around for today's action. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Here it is. Boom. First cast. We're slip floating today, y'all. Minnows and slip floats. That's going to be the ticket. Nice little short. We'll get him in the bucket. Make sure he's at least nine. Yep. All right, let's get back down here and see if we can catch us another one. Big donkey. That's what we want. Big old slab. There it is. Bobber's gone. Fish on. Holy cow. That's got to be one of the smallest crappies on a big minnow I've ever caught. Get on back out there, buddy. Get bigger. That's a good one. No, it's not. <clears throat> Another short. All right, y'all, here we go. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish, don't get away. I had to ninja grab that guy. Golly. <laughs> he popped off right there at the bank. Oh yeah, that's a perfect under. Check that out, y'all, as he flops in the checker nine and a three quarter take unders like that all day long here we go got him yeah that's a real solid fish right there y'all check this guy out stud Eleven inches. There's one. Another good fish, y'all. Yeah, buddy. All right, y'all, rig I'm gonna be throwing today, ACC crappie sticks, seven foot six split grip casting rod. Got that teamed up with the PC Fund Viper X 1000. Currently spooled with some vicious high-vis mono in six pound. Gonna be changing that over here shortly to some reaction tackle, so you guys look forward to that in the future. And like I said, slip float rig. This is really simple, you guys. Get you a bobber stop. I tend to use the rubber ones. I like them a lot better than the string. Typically, a lot of guys like to run a bead in between that and your float. I don't really find that it's that big of a deal, especially when you're using a smaller float like this. Little split shot, and I got a number four true turn hook there, and uh, we're just slip floating for some, some crappie today, guys. Should have some pretty good action. Oh. Wasn't paying attention. Stuck us another one. There we go. Another nice fish.
nailed it. But he's a dinker. I'm actually honestly surprised with some of the quality of the fish that I'm catching down here this morning. I've been catching some really nice ones. Here we go. Another decent little under. Slip floating, y'all. With a minnow. Nice, easy way to catch some crappie. Like eight and a half. I kept it. This is a better fish. This is a real good fish. That's a good one. Yeah. That thing just smashed it. Did you see that bobber go under? Oh, yeah. That's a dang good fish right there. He just came up and hammered it. Yeah, buddy, we'll take them like that all day long. All day long. All right, here's another one. Yeah. Big old fatty there. She's going to keep that hook for the time being. There's a good one. Yeah, man. Right in the bottom lip. Good fish. Here we go, here we go. We got him. Not a great big fish, but we got ourselves another one. Oh, here's one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Mostly unders today. But I tell you, the unders that I'm catching are perfect. They're like nine and a half, nine and three quarter inch fish, so. All right, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Appreciate you guys coming along with me on this one today. Had a great day. Slip floating with minnows for crappie. As you can see, we did pretty good. Ended up with 20 solid fish. Get out there, give it a shot, guys. It's a ton of fun. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're there. And remember, folks, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I'll see you all on the next one.